First up tonight, police in Kalamazoo are investigating two shootings involving teenagers that happened within hours of each other. News 8's David Horak joining us from our Kalamazoo studio with more on this. David. Well, soon, Brian, not only were these two incidents five hours apart, they were all within a half mile radius. The first happened about quarter to seven last night on Frank Street, west of Church Street. I was sitting over there in the chair over there when I heard the shooting and I came to the door. Neighbor Mary Bloodworth then saw the 13-year-old boy lying on the sidewalk across the street with people around him. Police eventually arrived and took the teen to a hospital where he was last reported to have non-life-threatening injuries. I didn't think too much about it. Stuff go on like this around here all the time. It's better this year than it was last year. Police do not have suspect information at this time. Bloodworth doesn't remember the victim's name, but knows him as a cordial neighbor. Yeah, I've had him tear him over and take him put my garbage on the road. Yeah. How would you describe him? Well, he was a nice kid. As far as, as, far as I know, because he, you know, they only stayed over there. They was not rowdy or anything, you know like young teenagers are. About six hours later at about one o'clock this morning, a second shooting happened four blocks south on Church Street just north of Kalamazoo Avenue. Police on patrol there say they saw a 17-year-old shoot another who was in critical condition. The suspect tried to run away, but police chased them about a half mile away to North Street, just east of Burdick. One officer fired one shot at the teen and another hit them with their vehicle. The gunshot missed, but the suspect was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police have yet to confirm if these two shootings were related. Now, the officers involved in that second shooting are on administrative leave, including the officer who hit the suspect with their vehicle. State police are overseeing that investigation, which is all standard protocol. We're live in our Kalamazoo studio. David Horak, News 8.